Hey, Don, the Auction Professor here today. We're going to talk about a very useful tool that everybody should have. It should be something you take with you every single place you go while you're sourcing. It's nothing more than a ruler of some sort or a tape measure. Now, I know this sounds logical, but there's other reasons why, other than just figuring out the measurements of a specific item. For us, I buy in big, huge bulk, big lots of records, big lots of postcards, big lots of sheet music, big lots of comic books, photos, whatever the case may be, trading cards. Now, all of those items, you can estimate the total amount that you're looking at. Let's say you see a box of postcards sitting on a table, and you want to know how many are there to judge how much you want to pay for something, whether it's records or whatever the case may be. And while you're out, you can use a tape measure, a ruler, whatever you may have with you. Obviously, a tape measure is great to take along, and you can estimate how many there are there in front of you. Let's take 45 records for an example. I buy... 5,000 at a time, sometimes even more than that. It's always good to know if the amount there is correct. And what I do is a simple measurement of all records there. An inch of 45s is about 14 discs. So obviously if you have 10 inches, that's 140 records sitting there in front of you. Now postcards. An inch of postcards is around 50 to 55 postcards, depending on the thickness and the type of the postcard. So if you multiply that out times 10 for 10 inches worth of postcards, you can easily have 500 plus postcards in that lot. I use those assumptions all the time. When we're sourcing and I bring them back here and we haven't counted them straight out, I'll do some measurements and we'll do an estimate in our logbook so we know roughly how many came in. While we're outsourcing, I will always measure the amounts there. Somebody will say they have a thousand records. I measure them for the most part if it's 45s. Now, if we're talking about postcards, I'll measure them as well, or comic books, or whatever the case may be. If this is a big lot purchase that I'm doing, and I'm not going to be individually picking them out, I want to be roughly sure how many I have in there. That way, I can alter my estimate or my offer to the person. If there's, let's say, they say there's a thousand of them, and it turns out there's only 600, obviously, I can't pay what they were offering for me. I'll always measure it. It always helps out to my benefit when I'm picking up this. If I'm at an auction, and they're auctioning off a bunch of records. I'll do a rough estimate on how many are there, how many will be valuable, and such forth. Now, that doesn't stop me from still looking through all of the items that I'm going to purchase, at least enough of them to know that I'm going to make some money. So let's say I'm outsourcing records, and I've measured them. There's about a thousand discs there. That'll help me judge how much per disc I'm willing to pay. So if we're talking about a bulk purchase, I have to have an estimated amount there to be able to roughly judge. On average, if I buy over a certain amount of records, I don't like to pay more than a few pennies a piece per the discs. Now, of course, as I said, I look through enough of the lot. At least I can tell value-wise. But when you're talking to someone you're about to purchase from, it's always great to be able to quote how many are there, what you're willing to pay on those items also. Never ever have to worry about counting anything. And I know I've seen people do it. They'll count how many postcards, they'll count how many records, they'll count how many LPs or baseball cards, sports cards, whatever the case may be. The measurements are pretty darn close most of the time also. It just, again, depends on the items. Like if you're measuring LPs and there's a couple double album sets in there. Now, it may not be off on the amount of discs that are there if you're measuring LPs, but it'll be off on how many actual albums there are. Obviously, if it's a gatefold, there's two discs on one of those in some occasions. There also are trifold record sets or box sets that can throw you off. But for the most part, I always have a ruler. It fits right up and down the shelf. I can instantly give a real good idea on how many are there. Just be careful when you first do this and write those down and take that list with you. So then when you're out in public, all you've got to do is measure them with your tape measure, ruler, whatever you happen to have with you, and you can tell how many are there. You don't want to overpay. I don't know how many times people have said, hey, there's a thousand of this or a thousand of that present in a sale, and there is literally half of that or less in some occasions. People don't know how to estimate things unless they've sold them many, many times or for a long period of time. Like with postcards. Postcard 
dealers pretty much can tell you how many postcards are in there. Most of the ones that I know do use measurements, as do the big bulk purchasers of postcards and records and all of that kind of a sundry stuff. That's where most people like me figure out the quantities when they're coming in. Now, when they get in-house, it's a different story because we're going to sort them by the ones that are worth money versus the ones that aren't. So we'll sell the individual ones we can sell on their own. We'll bulk some of the other ones and other ones on top of that may be pushed aside to go to another auction and be re-auctioned off for the ones that we just don't want. And that's what I do with everything. But it all comes down to measurement. Knowing how much is there is very, very important. And I promise you that case. Just like when somebody tells you there's a thousand of something, if you can prove to them instantly that there's 800, you're going to be paying less almost every single time because they overestimated how many were there. Like with the example with, with records, when they tell you there's a thousand and you come out there and measure and sure enough there's only 500, 600 of them out there, their price is going to be drastically less than what they stated originally. You can explain it to them, you can have them measure it themselves and that has really helped me in many occasions. I've seen places where I was going to buy some records and watch those in front of me sit there and count record by record one at a time instead of measuring them out. They spend a lot of time, if they mix up or mess up, there's an offage on that as well so I always just measure it measure 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 just like the measure twice and cut once kind of philosophy measuring is key in what I do because again I do buy in bulk in massive massive quantities so always carry a ruler or a tape measure with you for this reason it's really hard to estimate a price when you're wanting to purchase something when you can't even tell how many are there nor would I ever spend the time to count them all out so again as I said keep a list on your phone how many items fit within an inch and you can just break it down postcards comic books whatever the case may be now again i use this philosophy for so many items here the bulk of what we sell i measure it off by the inch to tell how much i have there and it's as i said very very close it's an honest and fair estimate out in the real world when you're trying to do purchases bulk purchases are always the best but this is just one of those secrets or insider tips that i can say i always use no matter where i go i always have a tape measure in my pocket most people who carry tape measures are doing it for size of a specific item. I do that as well, but I want to know how many of specific items I am purchasing, how much I can afford to spend on them, what the deal is, whether the person telling me that's how many are there or not is correct or not. I see many, many different times where people will be taken. They'll be told there's a thousand, they'll get home, they'll count out the items and there'll be five, six, seven hundred items and they were shorted 300 items, but yet they still paid a per each item fee when they purchased them. Like when you're looking at ads and stuff on Craigslist, Facebook, or any of the other platforms you're using to buy merchandise, if they quote you a price, a certain amount, and they say that equates down to a dollar a disc or 20 cents a postcard, if their totals are not correct, you are overpaying from what they're quoting you. So this is one of the best, easiest, simplest ways for you to quickly be able to tell how many are there without being conned when you're doing these purchases. Because again, people want to sell their merchandise. A lot of people these days just don't seem to care if they're conning somebody. If you're off a few hundred, no big deal to them. They still have their money. So this is one of those ways I am always safe when we're out doing purchases. It has saved me a lot of time time for counting discs as well as a lot of money or when they're quoting a certain amount and at the end of the day after I've measured it there's no way that the amount that they're quoting is anywhere near accurate so and I just saw somebody post a comment on that on my Facebook page as well on the same thing where they thought they were getting a thousand of something and it turned out to be well under that and they paid per each item for those items and of course the person who sold it to them is nowhere to be found at the end of the day so be safe the first time measure it out price them out correctly Correctly. Be safe, be cautious, and know how much you're actually getting. Know your each count versus the total whenever you're doing these purchases. I promise you that'll be your best bet. You'll be able to estimate much quicker wise on how many you're getting and roughly how much money you'll be investing into them that way too. So hopefully that gave you some ideas and some thoughts. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell a friend.